The first part of camera basics is holding your camera, using the neck strap, and removing the lens cap. You're going to make sure that you put the neck strap around your neck and hold it just like this um, so that it doesn't break or fall. The way that you hold your camera is I hold with my right hand on the grip, my left hand on the bottom to support, and also to use the zoom. When you take the lens cap off, pinch the two clips, pull the lens right off the camera, and then you just place it back on and release the clips. Never twist the lens cap on or off. There are different parts to your camera. This is your lens. This is where light enters through and then focuses that light into an image. This is the body of your camera. This is the main part of the camera that has the LCD screen and all the buttons and your viewfinder as well. This is your viewfinder. This is where you will look to take your pictures and also how to frame your pictures. This is your shutter release button. This is how you actually take the pictures. Um, when you go to take the pictures, you have to hold the shutter release button down halfway and you have to listen for the little ding. It'll go ding ding. And then once it does that, it's telling you that the camera is ready to take pictures, a picture, and you are just going to hold, you're gonna hold that down and then fully push that button down until you hear the shutter open and close. Um, that way the picture is actually taken. So you wanna make sure that you're listening for all of those noises. Okay, pause this video and go ahead and practice taking a picture with your camera. The next area we are going to talk about is your flash. Your flash is located on the top part of your camera. It will open up depending on what mode you are using and it adds just a little bit of extra um, lighting to your pictures. This is your LCD screen. This is where you will view your pictures, delete your pictures, um, and use all the buttons for the camera. So if we go ahead and turn our camera on, I am taking a picture here and I am going to go ahead and show you how to view and delete your pictures. All right, you're gonna press the little play button down at the bottom, that will show you your pictures. You can use those um, side buttons that I'm using right there to view your images. And then when you wanna delete them, you're gonna press that little blue trash can and you're gonna move, or to, move over to erase and you're gonna hit set in order to erase your image. So that is how you erase pictures and view pictures. The next thing we're gonna talk about is your battery and your SD card. These are located on the bottom of your camera. You need to open the little latch door and your battery is located right there and that is your SD card, which holds all of your images. We're gonna talk about charging your battery. So we're going to pop the battery out, moving that little gray uh, latch and you are going to match up the gold area on the battery with the gold prongs that are in you, that are on your battery charger and your battery charger is in your camera bag. So you're just going to insert that there and then you are going to pull um, the charging prongs down and you're gonna plug it into the wall. Make sure when you plug it into the wall, you keep it away from any faucets or water as this can damage both the charger and the battery. This is also your SD card. We're just gonna go ahead and pop that out to take a look at it. That holds all of your images and I will be showing you how to import those images later in another video. The next thing we're gonna talk about is your mode dial. Your camera has a lot of different modes that you can use. At first, we are going to just be using the no flash and the scene intelligence mode. So on your camera, I know it's kind of hard to see, but I was showing you that those, I was showing you those two. Right now we're on the no flash zone, no flash mode, and now I'm switching to the scene intelligent mode. And what happens is for the scene intelligence mode, it is going to analyze the area you're taking a picture of and see if it needs to add flash. If it does, that flash will pop up and add a little extra lighting to your picture. The no flash will add no flash to your picture. So now I want you to go ahead and try practicing. I want you to take at least one picture with flash, one picture with no flash, and then I want you to try deleting those pictures and then pass it on to the next person in your camera group. Have fun.